everyone, so this is going to be a pretty quick video. I'm just going to go over how to roll your own oats using an Eschenfelder oat roller. So first thing first, you want to get your oat roller so it's along the edge of either a table or a countertop. And then you want to clamp it down just so it doesn't move while you're rolling the oats. So you're just going to turn the clamp until you feel that it's nice and tight on there. So for me, that feels good. Um, and then the next thing you want to do is along this other side here, you have these two screws which adjust how tight or loose the rollers are. So I usually will turn my screws so they're tight just because I like more finely rolled oats. But if you like thicker rolled oats, you could loosen them by just turning them to the left. But I'm going to tighten mine back up. So once you have your oat roller all clamped down, you've adjusted your screws. The next thing you want to do is to add your oat roats to the top here. So you're just going to pour them into the funnel here. And so these oat groats I bought online through Bob's um, Red Mill, but you can also find oat groats usually in your local grocery store in the bulk section. So I have a bowl down here that's just going to catch the oats as they come out. And then it's pretty simple. You're just going to turn this in a clockwise motion. And there you go, you got oats coming out. So you can see now we have our own rolled oats. And so the other thing I'll mention is when you roll your own oats, it's best to keep them refrigerated just so they don't go rancid on you. So I like to store my oats in a plastic container in the fridge. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. But otherwise, thank you for watching.